You tried to take me on and you knew you couldn't beat me. What's happening, YouTube and Power fans? I got my number one roadie, my wife, up here to do this trailer review, as only I can do it, where we slow that trailer down, break it down frame by frame, and let you guys know what's going on. I will have to say I'm a little sad because I did see that thing floating around on Facebook. What thing? That thing about who shot ghosts. Okay. So I know, but I want you guys to leave me comments if you want me to make a spoiler video and title it, Spoiler video, I know who shot ghosts. Please subscribe to this channel. Check out the podcast. Honey, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's watch the trailer one more time, and then we're going to break it down. How'd you like to help us put James St. Patrick behind bars? He's already unstoppable. Unless you stop him, Tasha. We will get the job done. You only get one shot at this. All I need is one shot. First person we hear up there talking is our man Ghost, and he's basically telling someone, "You cannot stop me, honey." Who is he talking to? I don't know. Is that does it look like he was in truth or? He's definitely he in truth. Okay. He's talking to Councilman Tate. Somebody looks like he's shorter because he's looking down. Exactly. You see? Look! 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 You getting it? I'm learning. You getting I'm it? Learning. Oh, short man Tate. Look at oh, you. Hush. <laughs> then the very next clip, we see Cedric the Entertainer. With old boy trying to look like he's a dark skinned version of Neo from the Matrix. Honey, what you think they up to? Uh, this one's easy. They putting on gloves and they about to do something dirty. Somebody they, about to get shot. Exactly. They about to go shoot at somebody. And because they've jumped the timeline, we know exactly who they shooting at. Mm -hmm. This is the scene when it was Cedric, when we saw him dead, and Tommy made a great escape from this last episode when they were shooting at Tommy and Ghost. Mm -hmm. Next we see... Rodriguez, Cooper Sacks, trying to coerce somebody to help them. Who are we look? Who are they talking to? They're talking to Councilman Tate at his headquarters. Absolutely, you got it right. You got it right. And the one thing that they haven't done so far yet, we still need to understand what's going on with Cooper Sacks' background story. Mm -hmm. And it seemed like this clip went way back in the storyline when, right before Cooper Sacks got hauled into the AUSA office for for doing some dirty. Right. His, all his grimy stuff, yeah. right? So that is back then. Then we see Tariq giving somebody the side eye with them damn sausage ass lips and that crazy look. Who he looking at? I have no idea. He's looking down on somebody and he's giving them the side eye. Mm -hmm. Who could he be looking at? His mama. He Maybe his at mama. Tasha. He could be looking at Tate. He could be looking. He could be standing up and somebody could be sitting down. I That's true. I agree. Somebody's probably sitting down. And that looks like a door in a room. That don't look like it's an office or a building or anything like that. Like somebody's house. Mm -hmm. So could it be Ghost? It could be. It could be you Ghost. It could be that that episode when he went to Ghost's uh, apartment. Apartment and yep. was talking to Ghost. Yep. But That's... he looked whatever he he looked like. He he didn't like what somebody just said to him. And then he's got on his little outfit to go to school. I think that's Ghost. Then we see Ghost himself. Standing up in truth, looking down on the night in the outfit he was wearing before he got shot, just being like, you know what, I'm about to be the man. And then here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is an object of controversy. Somebody is holding a gun in truth. And you see the little fingers. That's definitely a male. Honey, who's holding that gun? I pretty much know who it is. It could be Tommy. That's not, that don't look like no white hand. That ain't Tommy. It it's hard to tell. That ain't Tommy. It's hard to tell. It that, could be that, Tommy. that could be a light skinned dude. Okay. Could be a brown so skinned dude. So you saying Dre? You saying like. I'm saying Tariq. Okay. That's Tariq hand. Holding the gun that eventually shoots ghosts. Next clip, we see Councilman Tate in a church. Mm -hmm. What do you think he's doing in this church? campaign and more than likely absolutely because his little short ass ain't up there giving no sermons <laughs> he's in this church campaigning so you know this goes back into the story but while he's up there campaigning the next picture we see is ramona mm -hmm. put it on you sitting in the congregation giving councilman tate the side eye like bruh didn't you just try to say we need to get rid of ghosts so me and you can be the new dynamic duo so Ramona's expression, I don't know if that's a, an expression of disgust or if she looks a little spooked or scared or something. I don't know if that's just her being disgusted at whatever he's saying. It could just be her being turned off. Mm -hmm. Because remember, he made a play for her. It looks like she's a little sad too. 
True. I mean, could they have jumped the timeline and they're moving forward to when Ghost, Ghost was shot? Yeah, and they also said that maybe Tate might be running for office with uh, That could certainly be that, too. So that could be her that, sitting in the audience yeah. sad, upset, because he's announcing that he's going to be the partner. Well, and the, the, partner. the other thing is, would she allow him to do that? Would she jump ship just that quick? She's, I guess she would since she's a woman of power. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, folks, leave us comments. Do you think this is Tate back in time trying to coerce the congregation to vote for him? Or do you think this is Tate post-time where he's talking about ghosts and Ramona sitting in the crowd about to be in tears? Next clip, we see Tasha talking to Tate, basically saying, you can't stop him. It's too late. Right. There ain't nothing else to say about this clip, is it? It just confirms our suspicion that they might have been working together behind the scenes. Possibly, but we don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Then you see him saying, Tasha, the only one that can stop him is you mm -hmm. in the daycare. Right. And you remember she phoned in a favor that she needed from him for the daycare. Don't forget about that. Mm -hmm. So he's still holding that favor over her head. Right. Next scene, we see Ghost getting ready for the night and the event. And he's looking around, seeing what's going on in the crowd. You... Something happened where both of them jerked and turned and looked. Exactly. Now, that commotion could have been, what do you think it could have been? I have no idea. What was the crowd jerking commotion that caused ghosts and this young lady to whip their head around like they Jada Pinkett Smith daughter whipping their hair back and forth? I don't know. I don't know either, y'all. Leave me comments if you think you know <laughs> what that is. Then we see Cedric the Entertainer and his homeboy, um, right-hand man, up here talking to somebody saying they're going to get the job done. Now, this is a very interesting clip. Who could they be talking to saying they're going to get the job done? As Tommy said in this last episode, it ain't the Italians. Right. So who are right. they talking to? It depends on if they're going after ghosts or if they're going after Tommy. Oh, they're going... True. Good point. Right. Good point. I personally think they was going after ghosts. Okay. So... Are they talking to Cooper Sacks? Could that be the throw off? If they're going after ghosts, you would think about Tate, potentially. Tate, Cooper Sacks. I think maybe Cooper Sacks. Mm -hmm. They probably want us to think it's Tate because they highlighted him a lot through this um, trailer. Mm -hmm. But we have yet to see Cooper Sacks' perspective, so I would say it could be Cooper Sacks that sent him to do it. Then we see them loading up again, getting the guns together, getting their hands ready to go and shoot. He's got a nice gun. Then we see Councilman Tate talking to someone and i know who that someone is saying you only got one shot at this who are we talking to talking to dre he's talking to dre mm -hmm. and so you know he getting his hand so tate is tate is on a vengeance to get get ghosts right and he and, got other things going on behind the scene and he got dre going after him right and there's dre basically saying okay i'm gonna get it done and here we see the guy with cedric to entertain him keep in mind y'all he's the one that got away because cedric was dead you see him with this nice gun with a silencer on it with a laser um, optical thing for better shooting accuracy, mm -hmm. all right? And then you see Ghost, so he's obviously standing there shooting that Ghost. And then you see his ass miss Ghost. Still miss. What the, <laughs> did he go to the Ray Charles School of Shooting? Mm -hmm. What in the heck? Man, how you miss that with all that equipment? Ghost ain't moving. You miss. All that time to prepare. All that time to prepare. Sitting duck. Sitting duck, and he missed. However, that man got his concealed carry weapons from wherever he got it from. Do not go to that school because you might mess around and shoot your eyeball out yourself. Then we see Tommy when he came around the corner and saw um, Cedric the Entertainer dead, and he was like, damn, the Italians ain't seen you. Right. From there, we see Tasha pleading with someone who's she pleading with i don't know all they're doing now is just going through all the left the, the suspects that are left over so tasha's pleading this could have been tommy this could have been to say it looked like that's the look she gave tommy right <laughs> then from there we got councilman tate he's he's a suspect left on the ticket then we've got cooper sacks whose story and background we have not got much of so this might be the cooper sacks focused episode mm -hmm. and then of course we got Tariq, and we know a whole lot more about Tariq than what we should two weeks early. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the breakdown, the slowdown of the trailer. Honey, how did you enjoy going through this trailer? 
it was interesting slowing it down. Mm -hmm. um, the only new information I got was looking at, uh, I guess, understanding we're going to get a little bit more information on Cedric the Entertainer and figuring out who he, who hired him and who mm -hmm. he was actually going after, which looks like it was Ghost, and I thought it was Tommy from the last episode. True, true. I'm going to say whoever hired them, it comes down to either Dre could have done it, Cooper Sacks, and I'm going to leave it at that. But leave me all your comments. Let me know if y'all want me to spoil the thing that's going around on Facebook because we both know who really shot goes. And if y'all want me to spoil it without putting it in the thumbnail, I can make a video for it. Just leave me your comments. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Follow this new channel, stick with my old channel, and check us out on the Life Games podcast where we're going to try to bring y'all that fire to that next sex is hell video. We'll see you.